I'm Teresa, and this is my husband, Alan. <laughs> it's changed our life in many ways, but the real, reason, the real way that it's changed our life is that, you know, it's brought our marriage back together again. Um, before we went to Retrovi, you know, we were living two separate lives, uh, just under the same roof. Uh, but since Retrovi, we are now a couple, a married couple. And, uh, you know, we think of each other first. We put each other uh, before before ourselves, and uh, that's that's really how it's changed our marriage. It's brought us back to being us. The biggest advice that I would give to other couples that are in trouble is that you're not alone. You may think that you're alone, but you're not. There's a whole world of couples who have been through retrovi and know what you're going through. They can help you in your struggles. And I would say the advice that I would give is if, to give each other the gift of Retrovi. It is the greatest gift that you can give each other because you're giving the gift of yourselves. You just have to come with an open heart and an open mind and just let the program work for you and work the program. Honestly, the best thing is just to, I would say for every married couple, at some point, do a Retrovi weekend even if you don't have the major trouble right now. Retrofy isn't just about infidelity. It's not just about substance abuse or alcoholism. Retrofy is can help any kind of problem in a marriage. Especially communication. Especially communication. If yes. couples are not communicating with each other, and we don't mean the everyday just talking, but the communication on a feeling level, you know, give yourself, like I said earlier, the gift. The gift of Retrovi, it's the best gift. And we have a gift that we give each other daily. It's called the gift of dialogue. And that's something that will never go out of style. And it's nothing I will ever throw away. Or it's something I can use every single day. Mm -hmm. I see God in my marriage as the, as the third party. We try to live our marriage as a sacrament and we put God ahead of everything we do. And without God, we wouldn't be a couple now. I see God in my marriage when I look at Alan and I see what we have become and I look at the wonderful gift that God has given us. And like Alan said, if God wasn't our third partner, in our marriage, we wouldn't be together because without God in your marriage, you know, you don't have much of a marriage. You just kind of look out for yourselves. And with God there, it's a reminder that you are living your life as a sacrament, your marriage as a sacrament that God wanted us to live. And I see God every day when I, like I said, when I look at Alan and I look at the miracle of our grandchild. I mean, that is just amazing. It just blows us away.